Hey guys, it's Ross, and not too long ago, we did a video on observing your landscape and how important that is. Observing your trees and being with your trees and being a good observer is going to make you a good grower. Um, here we have a tree that is a pear tree and after this tree had flowered, it got a nice case of fire blight. And I noticed it on a, uh, a shoot right here. We cut that whole thing out and it didn't seem to matter because it also spread to, or a different part of the tree also got infected. And now the entire pear tree is pretty much dead. So what I'm gonna do, because none of this is looking healthy, you can see this, this branch in particular up here, all of this is dying. So what I'm gonna do is actually cut the whole thing back all the way to the base. Hopefully we can get a healthy shoot that uh, doesn't have fire blight. And we're gonna have to restart with this variety completely. So a bit of a shame, but it may also be, you know, a sign that this variety is not gonna make it here. This is a variety called uh, Kosui. And a lot of the Asian pears actually get fire blight. And I haven't seen fire blight in my area just yet, but here it is, this is it. Really not looking good, this particular tree, so. Wherever that pear tree is in the neighborhood that is carrying fire blight um, is certainly getting to this tree in this location here. And we're just gonna have to keep our eyes on it in the future. I do wanna mention our pears are looking pretty decent. I don't wanna make this whole video just on fire blight. You can see though, some of the birds and um, yeah, really just birds, specific types of birds have been coming in the backyard and actually biting into these pears, taking out pieces of the pears. Um, and the crop as a result is a lot less, I had a net over this to just protect them for a while. I think because I had thinned the peaches over here against the fence, they're a spyade. Those, uh, when we thin them out, we just let the peaches fall on the ground. And then I had birds and squirrels and rabbits and different things come by and really uh, get at those peaches, those unripe peaches. I didn't think they were even edible. I didn't think something would even go after them, but they did. And then they realized, oh, there's other fruits in the yard, like these pears that we could also bite into. And we can take bites out of those. And then as a result, some of the pears, like this one here is another good example, just have marks in them. And I don't know if I should just leave them and let them ripen or just, they're kind of a waste. What I am gonna do is bag every single one of them. You can see with these organza bags, because we took off the netting. The netting is no more. It was really just to kind of get the birds away from this location. But I think to protect the remaining pears, the very few, remaining pears that I have, you know, whether it's a seckle pear, I think this one's actually, this one's Harrow Sweet. Um, these are my Europeans over here, by the way. This one is uh, Magnus, I think, yep. Um, probably this is another Harrow variety. You can see that there's nice looking pears and I'm excited to try them, but if I don't protect these, I think something's gonna get at them at some point. Certainly I think last year, a bird or a squirrel had taken away the very few pears that I had. So this year is probably gonna be no exception to that. Here's some Asian pears. This variety is looking great. I'm excited to have the Asian pears for sure. This one's called Chojuro. So very cool, but you know, it is what it is. We have to chop back that tree, protect the rest of these fruits, and we should be good to go. I mean, I don't think this is too really big of a worry or anything like that. This is just something we're going to have to deal with now in this climate is the fire blade and, and protecting them. It's just something you got to learn as time goes on, you know. Uh, luckily, this tree isn't loaded with 200 or more fruits, and then I'm really, you know, upset about it. So this is just a pretty young tree. You know, we'll see what happens when the, with this tree when it comes back. But uh, yeah, observe your landscape, guys. It really is important. Spend time with your trees as I mentioned. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this little update to the pears. We'll talk to you all soon. Take care.